Hey, welcome to Programming Fundamentals 105. Today we will be talking about a very important and, and this, like the concept that every programmer should know before developing the code. Yes, that is compilers and interpreter. So, what's a compiler first? Compiler is compiler is a software which converts your high level code to machine level code. Well, we are talking about high level languages here, but uh, the thing is computer still only understands machine level code so we cannot directly give our high level language programming to the computer and make them realize that it will be working fine you have to convert your high level language into machine level language and then pass it on to the computer so that it can work perfectly okay so compiler is actually used for the compiled languages or the programming languages that we have discussed before for example some uh, C++ well C++ is most widely known as the compiled language and C++, C and C++ well C and C++ are kind of similar just the difference that we should know is uh, C++ is an incremented version of C so C++ is having classes that's the object oriented uh, concept that we have previously discussed and c is not having that that's the only difference that we should understand uh, between c and c++ for now we're coming back to the topic there is an exception so if we talk about java java is not considered as a complete compiled language we'll discuss more from this interpreter well, interpreter is the one which does convert a high level language to machine one, but it works as a direct execution of code. So, uh, like we have discussed the scripting languages, scripting languages is more of a command driven. So, we directly give a command to do a specific task and then we get the job done. That is what the main function of self scripting language is so what does an interpreter do interpreter just takes the input or the code that we describe in our scripting language as uh, commands so it takes commands it provides it to the computer and completes the work some of the interpreted languages or the scripting languages that we know are python uh, ruby Perl, which are used for different var and various purposes so compiled versus interpreted which programming language you should choose for well that totally depends on the work that you'll be thinking or having a scope in your working environment uh, compiled languages are much more faster as compared to the interpreted because it converts the high level code to low level and then executes it which makes it more faster whereas in interpreted it takes much more time and reliability is less on interpreted language but still it doesn't matter when we are actually doing a development so yeah okay there's an exception that we have talked about java so it falls into this category vm and bytecode well vm stands for virtual machine uh, what it does is it it's uh, it actually converts for <laughs> sorry for that yeah so it what it does is actually first compiles your code it get a byte code um, byte code is an intermediate form of the final result that we'll be having and then the byte code is sent to a virtual machine well virtual machine is we can understand that um, take it as an IDE or a compiler that is like not at all depend upon the operating system that I'm using so yeah we have our compiled code now we get bytecode bytecode is passed to virtual machine and then we finally obtain the executable code so some of the basic uh, knowledge that you should be having is about bytecode and vm is this well uh, some of the languages that uses bytecode and virtual virtual machines are c sharp and java java is actually 
you know uh, one of the properties of java is this uh, virtual machine and bytecode so what it does is it it uh, you can only perform the java code on a java virtual machine you have to develop your code in that one and then uh, that's why preferably most of the java developments are done in ides so you connect your java virtual machine with your ide you you do the development in the ide and and the java virtual machine handles the rest of the stuff so that's all for this topic and i'll see you in the next time